This is my second completed altered book. Started in Auckland two years ago. And we have a rusted slide with images and some Australian indigenous scrapbook paper. Um, this happens to be a map of the southwest of the South Island in New Zealand. And these are fabric. I love these tags. The technique I have forgotten, but um, I love the... I didn't really want to put anything on them because I just love the result of the kind of paint that we used, which was some sort of a metallic paint. Right. Oh. Now those are the pockets. Okay. So this one, this lady is an articulated lady with some butterfly brads and her arms and hands move and a suspended heart this is a corrugated creature This one is um, a picture of India with a steampunk eye and an elephant. So the elephant is there. And then we have this side. And the elephant is there. This one is, I did these ladies first. They were puppets. In their old fashioned bathing suits with the beach behind. And so this side became a seascape as well. kind of a Halloween-y one. And it says, my dream wouldn't be p complete without you in it. And the two witches and the spider, and then the cat, and the moon, and a door. The door leads into another scene, which becomes that window and two ladies, two friends sitting there talking. And I think this must be something that says, you are never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. I did that quite a long time ago. And it has a secret drawer. And there's just some images. The couple on the left is my great, great grandparents from Prussia. And the one on the right is just an image that I found somewhere. So that's that book. Thank you for looking.
And as you can see, it doesn't close. So there's no sense in putting a closure, but I may get a ribbon or something and just tie it around. Thank you.